Hello everyone, I'm Spirkilla, Portuguese Pokemon Go player, and today I will play on Kanto Cup in Go Battle League with Blastoise on the lead, Shadow Venusaur, and Mew. I'm running Blastoise on lead because it has ton of good matches. The worst matches for Blastoise are Venusaur, uh, Alone Raichu, Alone Graveler. Even Alone Graveler is a good match for Blastoise at some point. Then I'm running Mew as a safe sock on this team. My Mew is running Wild Charge and Overheat, and Overheat is the main surprise on this Mew because mo most of my opponents won't spat the, the Overheat, and when a Overheat lands, it will almost a uh, one shot with Mew. I only throw a charge move with Mew, Mew when I have two charge moves prepared on it, because these charge moves are dangerous for Mew because one Wild Charge lowers the defense from Mew severally, and Overheat lowers the attack from you, much as well. So you have to throw a charge move when you have to prepare on you. And then I'm running Shadow Venusaur as a closer for this team most of the time. Shadow Venusaur, it's a, a bit weak than a normal Venusaur, but you can flip some matches with you the power of Shadow Venusaur because it has more attack and it's a, a good finisher in this cup, it kills Lapras, Blastoise, Charmers like Wigglytuff, Clefable, Alone Graveler, such a good Pokemon. So, let's start the battles. So, let's start some battles. Let's be, let's gonna be the first Pokemon. Lil Wayne. Hmm, <laughs> funny name. Lil Wayne. It's the rapper. Okay, let's start some battles. Hypnolith. This is uh, kind of dangerous because Hypno usually knows Thunder Punch. This will be like a Thunder Punch. I'm aware of that. I just saw I've done some respectable damage. And uh, now I throw a Hydro Cannon. But I... I let my opponent think it could be a Skull Bash. That's why I charge it so much. And uh, this opponent spent the shield. So it's nice for me. Now I enter the new. I guess I should to be Shadow Ball. It was a wait, okay. So now I don't have to shield. I know this is a Thunder Punch again. Now it will only farm it down. And I have energy on Mew now. It's going to be Snorks. Okay. Snorks is a neutral Pokemon for the Kanto Cup. It's one of the best safe swaps, in my opinion. And I switched it for Shadow Venusaur and I received a Owen Merak. So. I can't do too much in this mad battle. I will try to um, to knock out this um, Marowak. When I throw the, um, the Sludge Bomb, I should throw the um, Frenzy Plant to do more damage. But it's okay. Now Snorlax, yeah. This Snorlax has some energy. I have to spend the shield here. And I have to try to reach to Wild Charge, but I think I can't in time. Let's see. Yeah, I have to have charge now. But I guess it's open bridge the body slam as well, so let's see. And yeah. Um, this is good game. Good match anyway. Mew is very strong if you have to charge on it. And you only send a charge move after you have a, a second one in the back. Because this charge move slows uh, attack and defense from you, so you have to. Uh, to have two charge moves on you in order to pressure your opponent. Oh, another Hypnolid. This one is a share one. It's more dangerous, in my opinion. Now, a Venusaur. I will throw a high spin. And I have to swap for my own Venusaur here. I don't have to shield by now. I know it's a sludge one. It was a dangerous move. I'll farm a little bit and send a Frenzy Point. I send my Frenzy Plant when this opponent is about to send this Frenzy Plant. Now a bit drill. These matches are not too famous by now. This is a shield, so let's see if I can take the win here. I have to send my Blastoise, but it was a huge mistake because I thought my Blastoise had some energy, but it was empty, so 
I can't do too much at this point. This opponent is running a counter through my team. So I will try my best here. Let's see what he can do for me. Now hit me again. As you see, I'm going to farm until I get two charge moves. I have to shoot this one. Now I'm going to throw a charge move, but this opponent still has a shield and be drill on the back, so my plan won't work. But as you see, the first charge move here. Now I have the another prepared, but this would be a good technique if this opponent has no more shields, so it was a different, so good match anyway. Let's see if the next ones are better than these two previous ones. But Mew is certainly a, a good Pokemon for the Kanto Cup because it's very versatile and the opponents don't know what to expect about Mew. Now Venusaur lead, off lead, I have to switch for my Mew, my safe swap, but Sopen brings to the fight. I will eradicate, okay, bad news for me as well. As you see, I throw the first charge move when I have a second one prepared in the back, as you're going to see. And this will likely see the shield from that eradicate. Let's see. Yes, okay. He has done the job. So I can bring now my Blastoise here. I guess I don't choose this move. And I will try only to farm this Raticate very hard to have energy for the Pokemon in the back. Let's see. Okay, now I have ton of energy. I can throw on this Venusaur. And I'm going to swap for my own Venusaur here, I guess. Yeah. Let's see what this one has in the back. A shadow mark, okay. This will be a dangerous match. I will throw my frenzy plant when I reach two frenzy plants because I want to pressure this muck and I don't want them to win a, a free fast move. That's why I charge two charge moves. I have to shield now, and now I will farm this muck and then throw the yeah, this one. I I'm going to throw to pressure that shield. Now we only farm it down. I have energy for the Pokemon in the back. It's a Venusaur. I will throw my frenzy plant and pick two in here. Okay. I'm charging two charge moves because sometimes one of them can get a, a quick fast move when I'm throwing my charge move. That's kind of a forbot from the game. Don't know exactly. But sometimes that happens. So, and if I have two charge moves prepared, that won't happen too often. Now the Charizard lead, finally a good lead, okay. This is a very good match for Blastoise, as you know. My opponent sends the Lapras, I'm going to send my Shadow Venusaur. I will throw my Frenzy Plant here because this Lapras was almost reaching the charge move and like the Ice Beam, I guess. I have to shoot, no chance. And I have to pressure this player with the last shield. I will throw my second Frenzy Plant here. I hope this one gets the last shield. Very nice, okay, very nice. Okay, now I can bring my Blastoise here. Now I'll throw my Hydro Cannon and then farm the rest of HP from Lapras. Don't have to shield here. This could be a big move, let's see what's going to be. It's a Skull Bash, very dangerous move. But I still have Mew on the back and the shield, so I'm in a good spot right now. Let's see what's going to be. Now a Herodactyl. Okay, I'll throw my Hydro Cannon here. One shot, and now I can bring my Mew, send a wild charge to this Charizard and finish the game. I'm going to shield, no matter what it is. Like, okay, it goes a diving ball, but I reached my wild charge in time, and this Charizard is done. Good okay. game. Two, two by now. This is an okay team. I got some three twos, two threes with this team. Uh, it's a good thing for the current meta from Kanto Cup. Now, I'm a champ lead. Okay, this is uh, an interesting match because Blastoise can win this match and can lose, depends on what you are doing. I'm going to let this go do, down, though. It's a cross shot. I will throw my Hydro Cannon. Likely see the shield, I guess. No shield, okay. It was almost one shot, as you saw. And I still have two shields. Okay, now it's um, a Graveler, a Lulun, I will throw my Venusaur here. This Graveler wins the CMP tie with, against my Venusaur, so I can 
throw my transit plants at the same time that this traveler throws the charges. I have to try to throw first. Here, I'm going to shield as well because this Graveler is a very powerful Pokemon with Stone Edge. This Graveler is running Thunderbolt. Okay, I'm going to fit now for my new and okay, my new crits. Mew is very strong against Gengar, but Gengar is very strong against me as well, so yeah. maybe that Gengar was not running Shadow Ball, maybe Sludge Bomb, that's the main reason why I won't get so, He's the winner. I knew only have Wild Charge and Cover Hit, but Shadow Claw pressures too much that Gengar HP, so it would be an easy win. So, this was the team. As you saw, Blastoise on the lead has a ton of good matches. Shadow Venusaur for this team is a, is a good closer, you have to watch out for those Hypnos and Mew. Mew is a very versatile Pokemon, because most of the, my opponents don't spend a overheat on Mew, maybe a Surf and Wild Charge, yeah, that's the main charge move for Mew for the, the PvP. And so, this is it, hope you enjoyed this video, and see you next time.